Hi guys, welcome to your Pilates flow. My name is Amy and this is Poppy, my victim for today. We're gonna get straight into it. Come lying down on our mat, lying on our back with our feet underneath our knees. And we're just gonna start with a little recentering. Okay, so pushing your arms into the mat. Just want you to close your eyes. We're gonna take a nice long inhale through the nose as we exhale and just let everything go. We're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. I just want you to come into your body. Okay, often sometimes when we come onto the mat, we bring all kinds of things with us. I want you to leave those things outside of your mat. Okay, clear your mind, be in your body, let the exercises be in your body and be present throughout the workout. Okay, we're gonna take nice, one more nice long inhale, that's what I was trying to say. And as we exhale, let's just curl up into our bridge. Okay, hold the bridge there, inhale. Exhale, slowly coming down. Okay, so we're working bone by bone. Okay, you can work through this in your own pace, just making sure that we're moving through our vertebrae, getting the lower back especially to move, okay? If this is your kind of first movement for the day, sometimes the lower back can get tight, so just try to concentrate on lengthening out through the spine, and making sure you're getting that uh, tipping of the pelvis as we come down, okay? Don't cut it short. And making sure we're working equally through both sides of the body, so don't let one hip move more than the other. Okay, we're gonna go for two more here. Making sure you're pressing your arms into the mat to get that shoulder opening on the way up. And on the next one, we're gonna hold it up, okay? So we're holding in your bridge and you're just gonna reach your arms up towards the ceiling, plug your shoulders down. From here, we're gonna go for a little march. Bring the right knee in towards the chest. Exhale, lower it down, okay? so. And let's alternate, so we're switching sides. Now, in this exercise, I really want you to focus on your pelvis stability, okay? Your pelvis stays blocked. If it's too hard with the arms up, hands down, okay? So you always have that option because that will help you kind of stabilize through the body. Make sure you're using your breath. We're gonna go for five, good. Pushing down through that supporting leg as the other leg comes in for four. Keep reaching up through your arms as you're plugging back through your shoulders, three. Good work, Poppy, nice work. Everyone at home and two. One more time, and then plug that other leg down. Just keep your hips lifted, hold it here for a second. Lift up a bit higher for me. Now intertwine your hands underneath your spine. Stretch, so just uh, hands coming down to the ground. Intertwine the fingers, and let's come into a little stretch. Now wrap your elbows back, pull your hips up. You know, for here, for this one, don't even worry about your rib to hip connection. Just keep lifting your hips up, open up completely, You're opening out through your spine. You're pulling your arms down. We're breathing here for three, for two, Release the hands, push them into the mat. We slowly roll down, bone by bone. Okay, we're gonna grab the ring. Okay, and we're gonna place the ring in between your knees. Okay, feet are firmly on the mat. From here, I'm just gonna get you to press the hands down and come into some squeezing. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, slowly open. Okay, so we really wanna make sure that your feet are equal, okay? And you're squeezing through both sides of your legs, okay? So maybe one side of your adductors are uh, stronger than the other, okay? I really want you to focus your mind on an equal squeeze and good exhale out through the mouth as you squeeze that ring, good. Even sometimes just doing this exercise lying on your back can feel nice and challenging if you're doing it in the right way. Keep pushing those arms down and you're really trying to, Poppy's literally like squeezing that ring all the way and that's really good and I want you to do the same thing at home. We're going for five. And as you exhale, I want you to feel like everything's pulling inside and in towards your body like a belt tightening around your whole entire body. Three, good, push the feet down, squeeze that ring, two, on the, next exhale, on the next exhale, squeeze and hold. Now hold this here. Keep that squeeze. Watch the shakes. You're gonna curl through the spine and lift all the way up into your bridge. Into your bridge, yeah, keep squeezing that ring. Now keep the squeeze as you come all the way down. We're gonna do four more like this. We've got four. Good, and down exactly. Don't worry about the articulation for this. You're just lifting up and down for three. Keep squeezing that ring. You wanna try and have the ring to touch for two. Good, on this next one, lift up and hold it there. Little pulses with the ring, we've got 10. Keep breathing, nine. Keep lifting those hips up, squeeze the glutes, seven and six and five. Good, four, three, two, and slowly come down for a second. Now just take the ring away, you can just pop it down by your side. Bring your feet together, knees out to the side, just stretching there for five. For four, keep pulling your ribs in for three, for two, and one. Bring the legs into tabletop. You're holding the ring in your hands. Okay, when you hold the ring, palms into the ring, fingertips long. You wanna have the palm more in the ring so that you can get that nice push back proprioception through the ring. Pull the shoulders down, pull your abdominals in. Exhale, head, neck and shoulders come up. You bring the ring over the knees. <sighs> Inhale, so they come down. Good, now when you curl up, 
try and keep the back on and just lift the upper spine up. Don't come up too high, okay? Just the shoulders and the neck come up. It's more like an ab prep than anything else. Make sure you're using that exhale, exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale, so they come down. Chin slightly in towards the chest as you come up. Okay, so you're still working bone by bone. Plug the shoulders down. Good, making sure you've got that nice tabletop position. Knees on top of hips, feet parallel to the floor. We've got three. Good, <clears throat> using that X on the way up and two. And on the next one we lift and we hold it here. Now plug your shoulders down, pulling the ribs back. We squeeze the ring in and out. 10, use the exhale on the push. Nine, eight, seven. You're working from your back for five. Good, and four, nice work puppy. And three, two, and one. Now slowly come down, legs go down, reach and just have a little stretch for a second, hold it here. Now we're gonna come all the way up into a half teaser. So arms come up and you're gonna sit all the way up as you bend the knees and bring them in towards your chest. Sit, hold, exhale, we go all the way down, bone by bone, reach back. Beautiful, now if you're struggling, you're just watching what Poppy's doing for the demonstration, lift up and hold, good. Exhale, you're going bone by bone on the way down. At no point are you just lowering your spine down, okay? The work comes from the abs, nice work. Okay, we're gonna go for two more here and find that reach on the way back. <sighs> Hugging the shoulders down, keeping the scoop coming from the lower abdominals. Good, one more time, <clears throat> lift and we hold it there. From here, plug the shoulders down, pull your abdominals back a little bit more and hold. We're gonna extend the right leg and we bring it in. And we extend the left. Can you get a bit lower with that leg? And we switch. We're gonna pick up the pace now. We're gonna go for 10 and nine. Pick up the pace a little bit more and eight and seven. Good, six, keep pulling your abdominals in and four, three, two, and one, pull the legs in, hold. Now let's go for a little twist. We twist one way and we twist the other. Now just be really careful that you're not twisting from your arms. Think about the twist coming from your back. Squeeze those legs together, okay? And imagine that you're twisting your upper spine, your upper body around your spine, okay? So the twisting comes from the ribs and don't flatten out through the lower spine. Keep the scoop. Let's go for 10, pick up the pace and nine. Little squeeze of the ring, eight. Seven, keep the breath going. Six, five, good. Squeeze those legs together. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the ring there. Back to center. Okay, and now we're just gonna do the arms, okay? Just relax the shoulders, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, up with the arms. Exhale, down. <sighs> Inhale, up. Now, can you straighten your arms a little bit more? Really get that pulling down through the arms and the reaching from the arms so that there's no bend from the elbow. We're working through that stretch as well as we bring the arms up. Five, good, nice work, Poppy. Good, everyone at home, four, three, good, and two, and one. Now feet come down, separate your feet a little bit. Nice little stretch forward, exhale, pull the shoulders down. Now we're gonna roll halfway back. Hold it there, exhale, bring it forward. So a half roll back. Let's try and keep the spine rounded though. So we're scooping back. We take that sh same shape forward, scoop forward. Keep pushing your feet into the ground, okay? You want that pushing action of your feet. So as you roll back, you get that pulling back of the abs, plug the shoulders down, slight squeeze of the ring. Okay, you still want that proprioception coming from the back as well, good. We're gonna go for five and keep pulling the shoulders away from the ears and four, good. And if you want, you can also squeeze a little ball in between the knees if you want to have that proprioception of the inner thighs. Three, two, and hold it back halfway. Just holding it there. Keep the scoop of the abs. We pulse it out through the ring. 10, nine, eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower all the way down. We do full roll up. Legs are straight. Squeeze your heels together. Flex the feet back towards the face. Slight turn out of the toes. We slowly roll up, chin to chest. And if this is too much, go back to the half roll back, which is what we just did two seconds ago with the knees bent, okay? So make sure you're making the work at your own. As you're coming up, we're going bone by bone. Watch that the back doesn't go too flat. You're always trying to articulate from the spine. Good, and big reach back. As you're reaching back, pull your abdominals in. Nice work, good. And as you're coming up, try and stay rounded. Try not to 
straighten up. You're always rounding, looking in towards the abs as you come up. Let's do two more here. Nice and controlled. Keep looking in, keep rounding, keep rounding, keep rounding, keep stretching up. Pull the shoulders back as you reach forward. Good. We're going to do two more. Nice and controlled and stretch. You want to feel that pulling back through the body and then reaching out through the limbs. We've got one more after this. Okay, we're going to do a little round the world hold. So you can have a nice little stretch here, but whilst you're stretching, just separate the feet hip distance. Keep flexing back through the feet. Okay, plug your shoulders back even more and reach out. Now you're going to stretch to the or we'll twist to the right. And then you're going to go down on the right side of the body. <clears throat> Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Yeah, come all the way down. Well, that's much harder. I love it. Poppy was just, she's just wanting to show off, basically. Come to the left. Stretch up and over to the left. And now we reverse it. Okay, you go to the left. Watch the hips. Plant your hips down all the way up to the other side. Good, nice work. <clears throat> and you're always just thinking about all those cue points. Heels pushing into the mat flexing out through the feet as much as you can, plugging those hips down, getting a nice rotation and, and a stretch and all the way back, okay? Once puppy comes up, once you guys come up on this next side, we're just gonna do one more, okay? Really great stuff. All the way down. Go keep plugging those heels down and we come up. Okay, and then let's come to the center. Okay, and we're gonna do a little bit of spine stretch forward. So flex the feet. You can just come into the stretch first. Exhale, reach. Now stack your spine, sit up super tall. Okay, so the feet are reaching and I just want you to squeeze the ring and pull your spine back as you're stretching forward and reach forward, but still still have the reach forward as you, yeah, as you stretch forward. So sit up nice and tall. You want the pulling back of the spine. It's kind of a weird cue points with the spine stretch forward because you don't want to be pulling the spine back, but you want to stay lifted through your abdominals and you feel like the spine is pulling back, but you're still kind of stretching forward as you keep your waist nice and lifted. That's really nice, Poppy. Keep pulling the shoulders back. One more time here. And then I want you to sit up super nice and tall and you're going to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Now, if you can't sit like this, you can have the, the knees slightly bent and the feet on the ground as well. Now, plug your shoulders down, pull your ribs in, grow even taller through your abdominals. I want you to feel like you're pulling your shoulders down and you're lifting. Your waist is lifting away from your hips. Hold, even this can feel like an exercise. From here, we hinge back with a flat back. Just a little bit and then come back up again. <sighs> now, keep reaching down through the shoulders as you sit up. Okay, you've got all these kind of energy forces pulling up through the body to really get the abdominals nice and engaged. Good. Arms super straight, pushing into the ring. Good. Puppy's shaking, which means it's working. Okay, let's do two more here. <clears throat> Very good. One more time and you're going to hold it there. Hold. Breathe. Five. Keep pushing your feet down. Four. Keep going. Three, two. Now curl through the spine, bone by bone on the way down. And I'm just gonna get Poppy to shuffle down a bit so her head's on the mat. And let's just come into a little stretch, okay? So right foot into the ring. Just let that left leg come down to the ground. Okay, big stretch here. Just want you to recenter. Okay, after all that work, just close your eyes, pull that right leg towards you. Now with this left leg, you're really flexing out through the foot and you're pushing down. It's really important that you've got energy out through that leg that's on the ground. Okay, you're pulling that right leg towards you, just wherever you are. Maybe you don't need the ring. Poppy's quite flexible. Whatever works for you, just breathing into it. For five, four, three, to, now right hand comes to the center of the ring, left hand comes down to the ground. You're just gonna take that right leg out towards the side, okay? Now it's really important that you're opening out through both hips. Don't let the left hip lift off the ground for five, four, three, two. Switch hands, switch directions. Right leg comes to the left. Now pull your right hip down. I see a lot of people lifting the hips completely in this exercise. It's not about the lower spine. We're trying to activate and work into the side of the thigh, okay? Your IT band is breathing there for five, four, three, two, and let's switch legs, okay? So right leg down, left leg into the ring, making sure you're engaging out through that right leg. Pull that left leg towards you. And exhale out for five, four, just coming into your body. Just make sure you're not even thinking about anything. You're just working through the stretch. Take it out to the left side, left hand into the center of the ring. Just using that breath to release any tension before we go into our next block of work for three, two, and switch. Okay, 
going over to the other side. You're pulling that left hip bone down. Both butt cheeks are down. You're working through the left side of the thigh for three, for two, and for one. Okay, you can just pop the ring down for a second. Okay, bring your legs up towards the ceiling. Push your arms into the mat. Squeeze your heels together. Okay, I want you to find a nice opening across your chest. Okay, push your hands down. Do not lose your upper body connection, okay? Squeeze your heels together, inhale, prepare. Exhale, the legs go down. Now, as your legs are going down, how much can you pull your abdominals in? Exhale. Okay, just keep breathing through this. You wanna feel like there's a two-way energy pull, okay? Your abs are pulling in and down as you're reaching out through your legs, as you're pushing down through the arms and opening your chest and finding length through the back of your neck. Okay, there's loads going on at all times. I mean, we're working in the right way with Pilates. Squeeze those legs together. Three, good. And two. And we're gonna come into a little corkscrew. And one, okay, so squeeze those heels together. We take the legs to the right. You circle down and around and bring them back up to center. Now, if you wanna take the arms out a little bit into more of a T-shaped position, you can also do that. Okay, so this is like what we were doing with the spine stretch forward, but we're now doing it with the legs instead of the upper body. Okay, so Poppy's taking her arms out. That's completely fine. That's gonna give you a little bit more of support. Now, squeeze those heels together. Try not to let your heels kind of uh, shift, okay? You don't want the movement coming from the hips. You're trying to work the uh, abdominals at the same time and not let the hips shift. Good, let's keep going, Poppy. One more each way, won't make you be here for too long. And the other way. Very good, now the legs stay lifted, okay? We're gonna come into a little, just a little pelvis lift, okay? So she points her toes, you're gonna lift up a little bit, Exhale, come down. Now try, if you can, not to let the legs come towards you. Just lift up and slowly back down. Obviously, they're gonna come towards you a little bit. You can push, push the hands down by the body, exactly. So Poppy's now taking the arms by the body as, so she can get more of a push through the ground as she lifts up. Okay, don't let the shoulders round in. Open the chest, keep that upper body connection nice and connected. Good, we're gonna go for five. Nice work, Poppy. And four. And three, don't forget the breath, push down through the hands, and two. And one from here, we're gonna take the legs up and over into a big rollover, just plant the feet into the ground, we stretch, okay? Just plant the feet, so tuck the toes into the ground and just stretch back through. Okay, so you're just opening up through the body, pushing the arms down, good. And we're just breathing in this position, okay? So if you can't get the feet down, just kind of go to wherever works for you and hold for five and four, you want those arms to be in line with the shoulders so you get that opening. For three, for two, for one, bring the feet together, push the arms down. You're gonna lift your legs up into like a shoulder stand candlestick position. Now keep squeezing the glutes, you're lifting up, 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 as high as you can go. Now from here, keep pushing your hands down as you slowly come down bone by bone. Try not to let the legs come down first, you're going down with the abs. Really good puppy. Now, when you're here, stop. We're gonna go straight over into your rollover first and then up. It's like a modified jackknife. Squeeze those glutes, keep lifting, keep pushing the arms down. Now, don't let the legs come over. Think about going down with your abdominals first. You got it, girl. Good work. Two more. She's shaking over here. I like it. That means you're working. She's literally engaging every single muscle of her body. I like it. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep lifting up. Keep pushing the hands down. And then slowly abs, 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 abs on the way down. Perfect. Two more here. Okay. She's pushing her arms down. She's opening her chest. She's lifting and reaching. You know, often we do this exercise on the reformer with the straps. It's way harder on the mat without anything to hold you. Good, keep squeezing those glutes. Keep lifting, keep squeezing. You wanna find that extra squeeze and pushing through the hips. I think we're on our last one now, right? Very good, she's like, thank God for that. Basically, I can't count, so I'm really sorry in advance for that. Okay, and then slowly, we're coming down. Hold the legs, stay where they are. Reach your arms to your toes. We're gonna lift up and hold. Hold it there, now plug the shoulders down. Can we lift a little bit higher? Can we lift a little bit higher? Now you're slowly coming down, then we're lifting straight back up. We're gonna go for 10 here. 10, good. And how high can you lift? Nine and eight. Watch that you're not coming up with the shoulders. You plug the shoulders down as you're lifting up. Six, 
It's all coming from the abs. Five, good. If it gets too hard in the hip flexors, legs in tabletop. Three, and two. And slowly hold, hold it. Lift a bit higher, Poppy. Come on, everyone at home, hold it there for three. For two, slowly come down, reach the arms back. Have a little stretch for one second. We roll all the way up and we fold over our legs. Good, and just stretch, just have a breather here, okay? Just holding this here, come into your body, come into that recentering for five. For four, take all the tension away from the neck. For three, for two, and let's come into a bit of a twist. Sit up nice and tall, arms reaching out to the side, squeeze your heels together. Now, every time you come into a position like this, we're reaching out through the arms, we're plugging down through the shoulders, we're pulling our ribs away from our hips and pulling the ribs towards our hips at the same time. So there's loads of things going on, okay? Well, I want you to find those energy lines. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, we twist whichever way you choose for three and keep plugging, plugging back for two and one, go the other way, okay? <clears throat> so don't just twist with your arms. Okay, the twist comes from your spine, okay? Energy out through the arms. Again, don't let your legs move. You squeeze your heels for dear life as you're twisting. And every time you come back to center, how, how much taller can you sit? It's like a vertical line straight up towards the ceiling and you're twisting around this imaginary pole. Good, we're gonna go for one more each way. That's really nice. And then we're gonna come into a, a little sore variation. Really nice, Bobby. Okay, when you're ready after this one. We're gonna open the legs, okay? Little sore variation, reaching out through the arms. So we grow tall through the spine. We exhale, we're gonna to twist towards the left leg. We reach over the left leg. The right arm comes back. You're gonna lift your hips up into the air. Open the spine, come down. We twist back, reach the left arm over the right. Stretch, pull, right arm goes down, lifting. Uh, but if you didn't quite get that, just have a look at what Puppy's doing. <clears throat> get the pattern and then come into the work, okay? So when you're lifting up, you're really opening the whole entire spine up towards the ceiling. Good, making sure that when you're twisting and stretching forward, the feet pushing down into the ground, get that heel to floor connection. Good, really nice and big on that twist, stretching forward. Doing this in your own time. Good. Okay, we're going to do one more each side, Poppy, and everyone at home. How big can you make that back bend? I want that arm to go all the way back. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. And then the other side, I'm stretching forward, reaching back, lift all the way up. Good. Nice. And from here, just come down and come into a normal um, <clears throat> reverse shoulder. So you can sit up, arms go back, and then just lift the hips all the way up and hold, let's just open the spine, lift the hips up, get that nice chest opening and just hold it there for five, four, good, three, lifting up through the shoulders and two, slowly come down, feet together, knees out to the side, come into a little butterfly, just reset, pulling everything as we're gonna come into another dimension in one second for three and two and push the hands down, can you jump back into a plank and hold. All right, very good. Just take a nice long inhale here. And exhale as you ground your hands down. Okay, from here, we're just going to come into a little pike. Lift the hips up, stretch down, and then bring it back into your plank. Good, rolling through. So this is like elephant on the reformer. Plant those heels down as you come back. You're really rounding through the spine and articulating through the spine as you're coming forwards and backwards. We're gonna go for three, pulling the shoulders away from the ears and two. Good, one more time. And I'm gonna get you after this to just come back into that um, elephant position or that down dog. Now, separate your feet for me a little bit. Okay, and just hold this here. Now, Poppy is very uh, open in her spine, okay? So you might not necessarily look like her as you're in this position, but just be wherever you are for three, for two, and lift your right leg up. Okay, try and keep the hips nice and square for me. Now you're gonna bring the right knee down into your plank to the left elbow and twist. We're gonna go for six, up and twist. Good, and five. Really twisting through the body and four, good. And three, you got this, nice work. And two, 
On this next one, I want you to take the knee to the twist oblique and hold. Hold it there. Now keep lifting through your obliques. Keep pushing down. Now you're gonna rock this leg from right to left. We're gonna go tick tock. Eight, seven, twisting from the body as well. Six, five, four, three, two, and one right knee to the upper arm, hold, right knee, hold it there for five, four, three, two, child's pose, rest for a second. Pull back, breathing here for five, very good. And four, and three, you know you gotta do the other side, okay? That's why I'm giving you a little bit of rest. And two, because I'm feeling nice today. And one, we come into the plank and we hold. Great, from here we're lifting up and back into our down dog and we hold. Extend that other leg up, stretch, and we bring it through and we twist. Now really get that twist going. We will have for six, good. Use that breath. And five, lengthen through the leg. And four, good. Don't forget the stretch on the way down. And three, nice work everyone. And two, good. On this next one, we lift and we bring the leg through and we hold it there. We're tick tocking from eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, don't forget the breath. Two and one, hold the knee here, touch it, lift it, keep holding it for five, for four, for three, for two, child's pose and rest. Very good. Breathing, let it all go, it's done, it's in the past, until the next class, that's when you'll do it again, but you don't need to worry about it now. For three, and two, very good. And hold your plank, we doing a few tricep push-ups. Okay, let's do them on our knees because I think they're quite challenging. It's nice to do them on their knees just to really nail that technique. Okay, so curling the tailbone under. Nice long, yeah, bring the hips down in line with the shoulders. Okay, and from here we just lower down. Elbows back, exhale up. We go for five and four. Now the reason why we're doing this and three is so we can get strong in our transitions. Elbows right back and two. One more time, now pop, you're gonna pop straight up onto your toes, full plank, we transition slowly all the way down, elbows back, nice and slow, 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 all the way down onto our stomach, great. Okay, so arms are going to come into the band and you're gonna reach your arms out in front of you. Okay, and you're just going to just hover your forehead from the mat, okay, legs are hip distance apart. Now, from here, neck is super long, plug your shoulders back into your back muscles and we're just going to lift our upper body up, and slowly come down. Now just keep working through this. Now pull your shoulders back into your back a little bit more. And I want you to pull out through the band a bit more, okay? And neck super long. You wanna feel like your, the, the head, your, your crown is pulling forward as you're lifting up. And don't lift too high. You don't want it to go into the lower back. You really wanna focus on your upper back muscles. So sometimes when you lift too high, you can get into the lower spine. The five, good, nice and controlled on the way up, slow. Four, good, less neck, just look right down towards the ground. Three, good, nice work, puppy. And two, on this next one you're gonna lift and you will hold, hold it there. Now just pulses up with the arms, 10, nine, keep looking down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, slowly come down. Now flick the band around your back, okay? So we do the in reverse, arms behind your spine and you just pop the band and palms are gonna kind of face, I think let's go away, because that's a nice external rotation here. And we do the same thing, okay? So we lift up, exhale, slowly come down. Now, you just want an external rotation coming from the shoulder, because we're trying to open the shoulders. So um, whichever way you feel is gonna do that best for you. As you're lifting up, again, try to think less about the lower spine. Everyone has different range, right? But I just really want you to focus on getting this nice opening across the chest as, as you're lifting up. Okay, you're gonna start fatiguing in the back soon. I won't make you be here for too much longer. Keep opening the chest, puppy. Good, everyone at home. Three, less neck. Just look down towards the ground. Two, and lift and hold it there. Now pulse those arms up towards the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take the band away. Slowly push back into a nice shell stretch. Okay, so different to a child's pose. We're really trying to round the spine. Bring the legs together. Let's come right onto the top of the head and bring your arms back by your body. And I really want you to tuck under. So you've got this really nice stretch from the top of the spine all the way down. You can even pull into the spine a little bit for five after all that extension. 
You really want to just give the spine a nice little rest. Four, three, two, and then back into your plank, your plank, your plank. And you're going to slowly load down using your triceps. Again, slowly down. And let's come into a little bit of a starfish. So arms out uh, on a, like a 45 degree angle, kind of outside of your shoulders, yeah. Legs are super wide. Head is down, just hovering. We're gonna inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, so they lower it down, good. We go for 10. And down. And nine, find the reach. You wanna feel like someone's on each limb and they're pulling your arms and legs out of your body. Five, good, neck is long, just look down towards the ground, four. And three, nice work. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And two, squeezing those glutes on the way up. And exhale, lift and hold. Now from here, you stay lifted. You bring the hands together, you bring the legs together. Exhale, pull apart. And bring it together. And pull it apart. We've got five. Keep lifting, keep reaching out through those toes. Four. Three. Good work. Nice work, everyone. Two. And lift a little bit higher here and slowly come down. Just come into one cheek and just rock your hips from right to left. Just have a little breather here for five, four, three, two. Reach back and grab your ankles back bend. Let's go hands on the inside of the ankles. Flex your feet as much as you can. Bring your legs together. Okay, if it's too much with the hands on the inside, stay on the outside. And on, when you're ready, we're gonna pull up into your back bend. Pull, 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 and slowly come down. Keep holding onto your ankles. We're gonna go for five. Now you wanna really pull away with the hands and flex your feet. And four, trying to get the shoulders to open, the hips to extend for three, good. And try and grip the ankles as much as you can. Two, if you need to reset for this last one, do. And on this next one, we lift and we hold. Lift and hold, bring those legs together. Keep lifting up towards the ceiling for five, for four, for three, for two. Slowly come down, push back into your shell stretch. Holding it there, just closing your eyes, letting go of all the work, just coming into your body for five, four, three, two, and let's come kneeling facing forward. So you're in the middle of the mat. Okay, this way, yep. Kneeling, facing forward, hands behind the head, pull the shoulders down. We're gonna stretch left. Sit up nice and tall and we stretch right, good. So you're just looking straight forward. You wanna pull the ribs in towards hips, okay? So you've got a nice neutral position of the hips. You're not hanging out in the lower back. Okay, lift up through the waist before before you stretch sideways. Don't just dump into the side of your body. You still wanna find that length even when you're bending sideways. <clears throat> what I would do is intertwine your fingers around, yeah, if you've got a pony, you can do it through the pony or whatever, just something so that you can feel the push back of your head as you lengthen through the back of your body, okay? You're there to be in a really nice straight position, pushing the head back into the hands and the hands into the head. Good, let's go for three. Okay, not only are we stretching the side body, but we're also working the body for two. Nice work, puppy. One more time. Now we twist, okay. So you're just sitting up nice and tall, pull the head back into the hands, pull the shoulders away from the ears, squeeze the glutes, we exhale, twist. <sighs> and coming back to center. And then we twist this way, good. And come back to center. But she just was like improvising there, but you can also improvise. I encourage everyone to be free in their class with me. Good. Pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. So when you're twisting, you want to squeeze the bum and keep your hips super square. So don't allow your hips to move with you. Otherwise, you're not going to get into that mid-spine area, which is what we're trying to do. Let's go for three. Good. Keep pushing the head back into the hands for two. Try not to let the arms move with you. Just think about the ribs for one more time each way. Sorry. Let's go. Yeah, one more each way. And on the left. And then what I want you to do is take that right leg out, bring the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Okay, stretch, okay? You're just holding this here, you're squeezing both glutes, this leg stays down. And when you're ready, we're gonna do a little mermaid. So we come up and over, right hand comes down to this side of the body, and we're gonna stretch the other way, so a little mermaid. So imagine that you're like doing reformer on the box. Right, left arm comes down, right arm goes over, and we stretch. Now keep pushing this leg that's extended down into the ground, okay? Big side stretch. 
That's three. We're going to go for another two. Good work. Poppy's doing this really beautifully. Good. One more each way. So she's going to come up and over one more each way, and then you're going to push that left hand down into the ground. Right hand behind the head. Let's come into some side kicks. Okay, let's bring this leg up and slowly down. Now keep pushing your hips forward as this happens, okay? You don't want to be hanging out in your hip flexors. Ribs are pulling in, you're really reaching out through that leg and you're pushing your hand back into your head. Let's go for five and four. Energy out through this extended leg and three and two, good. And lift and hold. Now flex your foot. We're gonna pulse it up and down and up and down. We've got 10, nine, eight. Squeeze that butt. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just have a little rest for a second. This leg comes down. Okay, and you're just gonna pull your hips back. So sit back on your leg and just come forward and stretch here for a second. Holding that there for five, four, Three, two, come back up into the, that position. We're coming into our leg circle. So right hand down. Yeah, right hand to the back of the head, left arm down. Lift the leg up, circle. So try and make them as big as you can to keep your mobility. That's two. We're going to go for 10 each side. Three, four. Keep pushing your hips forward. Five, six, seven. That's good, puppy. Eight, keep pushing the head back into the hands. Nine and 10. Reverse, back and down for 10 and nine and eight, and seven, and six, and five. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Leg down, coming all the way up. Let's switch sides. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so left this little stretch there before we moving. And then we're coming up and over. We've got five each way. Okay, just come into your body. This is the kind of stretchy part of the exercise, so just using your breath, releasing any tension. Good, really finding the reach is so nice to stretch the side of the body. We hold so much tension there. Okay, we've got two more. Okay, and then one more each way. And then we come into the work. Okay, right hand down, left hand behind the head. Okay, we lift the leg up, we're going for Five each way. Okay, really lifting up through that leg. Squeeze your glute as you push your hips forward. Okay, for three and two. And then we lift and hold. Now flex your foot, pulse it in. Now really have a parallel foot here. Ten, nine. Keep pushing your hips forward and pulling the ribs in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We come down and we stretch. Down, come all the way forward, holding that there for five. Just let it all go for four, for three, for two. We're coming up into those little circles. Okay, right hand down, left hand behind the head. Lift that leg up. We've got 10 each way for 10 and nine. Don't lose the height. Lift the leg up again. Seven, six, pull the ribs in. Five, four, three. Two, go the other way, 10. Keep lifting it up, nine, eight, seven. Try and plant that whole back foot down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Just coming up and just come into a little child's pose. You can face the camera as you're doing it. Just reach the arms forward, we're almost there. Keep breathing. For five, for four, for three, for two, we come into a side plank on your right side. So right hand down, legs extended. Now, if you need to keep that right knee down on the ground, you can. Otherwise, full side plank and we hold from here. You lift the hips up, we're tapping this hand to the foot. So coming into a little pike and twist and we bring it back. Good, 10. Exhale, nine. Pull your right shoulder in and down. Eight. You really want to make sure that the lats are connected. Seven. You've got this puppy, we're almost at the end. Don't give up now. Six, and breathe. And five, keep pushing that right hand down, good. And four, use that breath. And three, good work everyone, keep going. Two more, and two. 
One more time. Hold your side plank. Yes, I'm gonna make you do it. Lift that top leg up, lift it up. Go on, girl. Hold it there for five, for four, for three, for two. Switch sides, very good. So we'll just come yeah, head that way, feet this way, left hand down, right arm up, hold. We're twisting up, pike and twist and reach, bring it back. 10 and nine and eight. Good, keep pushing that left hand down, keep lifting up through the hips. Five, good, you got this. Four, just come into your body, use your breath. Three, and two, one more time, and you lift and hold. Now if, that, if you're dying, that left leg comes down, top leg lifts up, hold it there, lifting through your hips for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sit on your bum, come into a big straddle. <laughs> Legs out, yep. Okay, just hold, yeah, hold that position. Just open wide through the legs, just holding that there, holding it there for five. For four. I mean, if you have someone that can help you stretch, do it. Otherwise, you're not going to be as lucky as Poppy is, having her personal stretcher with her. For three. And you can rock from side to side if you want for two. And bring the knees in, hold the knees in towards the chest. Just bring them all the way down to those armpits. Flex your feet. Try and push your whole entire spine into the mat. Try and pull this down as you're pulling the knees in. For five. For four. For three, for two, feet down, come back into the bridge. We're gonna finish the way we started. Lift up, open your spine. You're gonna reach your arms back. We're just gonna do a few uh, bridges with the hands back just to find a bit more length with the spine. So continue on with your articulation, but I really want you to reach your arms away from you, okay? When you're reaching your arms away from you, you can kind of pull into the spine a little bit more. Good, we're gonna be here for five. And four. And three. Really nice, guys. And two. And one. Now just bring the hips down. Keep the arms where they are. Big, big stretch. Reach your arms away from you. Reach your legs away from you. Stretch, 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 stretch. Take a nice long inhale. And you are all done. That completes your workout. And I hope to see you soon.